sophisticated and unique design and radar absorbing skin to successfully penetrate enemy air defenses, deliver its weapons on target on time, and safely return home. Ladies and gentlemen, the Black Jet, the F-117 Nighthawk. Developed by the Skunk Works, Lockheed. Here comes Pass 2. If you'll look to the left, you'll see the Black Jet. He'll make a close speed pass. The sophisticated fly-by-wire flight control system and autopilot allow the pilot to use the F-117A sensors to locate his target and guide his weapons with pinpoint accuracy all in the dead of night without the enemy even knowing he's there. Nighttime is when the F-117A shines in combat, as was proven time and time again during Operation Desert Storm and Operation Allied Force in the Balkans. Here comes the slow speed pass. Back on March the 20th of 2003, the F-117A returned to the skies of Baghdad again, starting Operation Iraqi Freedom with a decapitation strike on key Iraqi leadership targets. It is possible for the pilot of this aircraft to pre-program his... Captain Kevin Sonar Hall is coming from the right for his final pass. Let's take a look as your cameras, I hope, are clicking as we're getting beautiful pictures of the F-17A Nighthawk. Today's demonstration was supported by a support team of Tech Sergeant Nathan Knox, Staff Sergeant Santos Montaldo. Now, one of the reasons that the Skunk Works at Lockheed Aircraft was able... Oh, we're going to get another pass. Take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. He's all set down, and we're, uh, we're getting another pass out of him here. This is going to be fun. The low approach, here comes the black jet once again. This is fun. One of the reasons that the uh, Skunk Works of Lockheed were able to produce aircraft that were very, very unique and radical on time and under budget is because they would use, whenever possible, off-the-shelf parts from other aircraft. When the F-117 lands, I want you to take a look at the landing gear on it and remember it when you see the F-15 from the 71st Fighter Wing uh, take off and land. You'll notice that the main gear, uh, landing gear, are the same. Absolutely. The, the, F, uh, the uh, Lockheed Skunk Works were responsible for, uh, under the leadership of the late Clarence Kelly Johnson, for the design of the number one uh, aircraft in World War II that, that actually was uh, flown by the number one ace in World War II with 45 aerial victories, Lieutenant Richard Baum. That was the P-38 Lightning after World War II at the beginning of the jet age. The Lockheed guys produced the F-80 Shooting Star, the first jet fighter that the Air Force had. They also, in the late 1950s and early 1960s, produced the F-104 Starfighter, known as the Missile with a Man in it, an aircraft that was capable of speeds of about three times the speed of sound, Mach 3, about 18 or 1900 miles per hour. They also were responsible for the C-130 Hercules and many other aircraft, including this, one of 59 aircraft built and one of only about 50 left in the inventory. Believe it or not, as you see the F-117 roll out with that parachute behind it used to help slow it down, the F-117 Nighthawk is going to be retired in June of two, May or June of 2008, all of the remaining 50 or so aircraft that are in service will be set aside because the F-22 Raptor is going to be taking its place. As a matter of fact, the Raptor will be assigned to the 49th Fighter Wing at Holloman Air Force Base. Look at that jet. It is so radically shaped. It is done so, so that Radar waves that hit it do not bounce directly back to the radar receiving antenna. That and the radar absorbent materials on it help, uh, help it to become nearly invisible to air traffic control radar anywhere in the world. As a matter of fact, this airplane is so stealthy that in order for it to fly in the United States air traffic control system, the maintainers 
of the aircraft when it's doing air shows like this actually put pieces of metal on the outside of the airplane which they have nicknamed warts. <laughs> Getting rid of its drogue shooting and got a taxi back in. But they put these pieces of metal on it and just small pieces of metal on the fuselage of the aircraft make it visible by air traffic control radar. It is so stealthy that it appears on a radar screen to be about the size of a seagull. It is that small. If you were to take uh, a three-ton panel truck and shine a radar beam on it, the radar signature would be about the size of a quarter. Uh, and if you took all the F-117s flying today, the radar signature of the black jet, as you see a taxi off to the right, would only be about the size of a B-52 bomber, believe it or not. Taking off right now, the Cessna 182 of the E-Team Skydivers. So they'll be coming back in as we prepare for our traditional air show opening for you in just a couple of minutes. 